Hi guys and welcome to the brilliant scanner from inplaytrading.com. Going to show you in this overview video exactly what the tool does, uh, how to set it up, get the best out of it and what really to look for and what I would do when I'm looking for trades and, and try and make some money. So going to just work our way down the page. It's Sunday afternoon, it's about quarter past five. These are all the games that are currently listed on the scanner. So we've got quite a few there. Just work my way back up the page. Like so. And let's just go through it from the top. So we have a schedule on the right hand side that brings up all of the um, games for today, for the rest of today. We have filters here which I've currently got. I've got a minimum match of 2,000, 100 pounds on the 2.5 and correct score. So every one of these games down here I've got to have at least this amount matched because I'm just not interested in games that have got uh, two pounds 20 in or 64 pounds in the match odds. This takes out all of the rubbish that um, I don't need, slows up my machine and uh, it's just better off without it. So we move over here now if we want to find, say, all the current games that are uh, a nil-nil that we cover, then we just put in the score there and it will bring up all of the current games that are nil-nil. If you want to put in, say, 1-1, one, one, you can do the same. If you want to put in, say, a maximum of uh, one goal, just take that out and put in one here, a maximum one goal then it brings up all of the nil nils all of the nil ones and obviously the one nils so that's quite a useful filter to have in take that out there go back and we're back to all of the games again so what else have we got we've got subscribe to email alerts I'll tell you a little bit more about that a bit later on. This little sound alert here can either be ticked or unticked. When you have the sound on you will hear audios for a shot on target which is a bleep. You'll hear a sh audio for a red card which is a booing sound. You'll hear a whistle for a penalty. When there is a goal you will hear the applause from the crowd the whistle will also go for half time and full time and our latest addition is the pressure indicator uh, alert audio as well which I'll tell you a little bit more about a bit later on so you can either have that on and off it also sounds like a little bell when new games uh, come onto the coupon so you can see those uh, instantly you know straight away there are more games on the uh, on the scanner itself so just moving down, obviously we've got the date, we've got the time. These are all sortable. So you can sort by uh, scores ascending, scores descending. We have prices and graphs from Betfair. So if you click on any of these, then you go straight into that market on your Betfair account. You just saw a goal there. It just flashed in red, that's what it does and obviously the liquidity amounts we can also sort that um, we have kickoff prices just underneath you can see just flash there we have the kickoff price what it was at kickoff over this side we have all of the stats the important stats we have shots on target off target corners um, penalties uh, free kicks, reds, yellows, possession and the pressure indicator for the last 10 minutes. Now the pressure indicator basically takes on the possession for the last 10 minutes. That amount we then divide by 5 and we add 10 for every shot on and off target. That then gives a figure here that you can see and obviously the higher that figure the better anything over sort of 50 is highlighted in red to show that there's a good chance that side are going to go on to score a combination of 70 now that's 51 plus whatever 
um, if you have that unticked will make an audio sound so you know that a goal is likely a goal is going to come all right so we have that we have the times in minutes of when there's been a shot when there's been um, basically anything anything covers a time in minutes within the game also when a goal has been scored we have the time the goal has gone in and it just gets better and better if we go over here we can highlight say we're interested in certain games we highlight the ones we want and once we highlight them we then get the audio alerts that I've just mentioned now that light bulb is green so these are sort of on my watch list and I can hear when there's a shot, penalty, goal, etc. The eye shows a breakdown of the first half, second half and the total. That's very useful so you can see what's happened in the second half, whether a side looked like they're going to score um, and what's happened in the first half, a total breakdown. We have an X here that you can delete per game, you're not interested in games, you can delete them individually. That of course is the highlighter. We will have here a little link to um, stats for games. We'll get that put, put, put in. So you can click on that and it will take you straight to the stats of that particular game. If we hover the mouse over the teams you can see where it's which league it's in which um, uh, which country um, Portugal there we go Primera Liga uh, Tipple again so in Norway and so on so you may well hear if there's a shot in these games you'll hear some sort of sound so don't be alarmed when it's nice and loud right now why is this one blue well this means that it's nil nil the blue highlighter comes up for games that are nil nil one nil and nil one at half time for nil nil games there have to be a minimum of four shots on target and the second half refresh rates of goals based on the last three season stats suggest that more goals are scored in the second half you can see here Cole score 65 percent of their goals in the second half based on the last three season stats so that's for nil nil games so when you see that it suggests that um, the sides or one side if not both sides score more goals in the second half it will also highlight when the score is nil one or one nil when there have been five shots on target and the same thing more goals are scored by one or both of the sides in the second half okay so we've got a couple more down as examples all you do is you put your your mouse hover it over so you get the graph and you can see in this particular case Man City score 58 percent of their goals in the second half so hopefully we'll see a few more there right moving on down eight minutes into the video um, this is uh, an example of a strategy you can set up I mentioned the email alerts uh, above at the top of the page if you have that on and you have a saved strategy then you will receive an email alert telling you that a game has met that criteria and if you want to then go in and trade it you can do so this particular example um, looking for the draw price to be a maximum of 2.1 I'm looking for games that are nil nil that has a minimum thousand uh, pounds liquidity um, there have been a minimum of six shots on target and this little clever thing here um, finds games from 55 minutes to 75 minutes that fit into all of this criteria so when games do I'll get an email alert and I'll have a quick look at it and decide whether I want to jump on or not now it's important with with things like this that you you name your strategy if you have nothing here and don't save it with the name then you won't get the email alert you must have a name in there and you must also have a filter price filter here doesn't so much matter about the time but you must have a price filter here otherwise you won't get the alert so 
that's that's one example. If you want to say uh, I've saved that, so you can go in there, you can click say uh, a strategy, uh, a maximum of. say a maximum of three and you want um, we'll add a price filter just add that in as well I'm almost done on this video now so let's just add a price filter for um, say over 2.5 just change that to over 2.5 so we're looking for uh, and we'll put in there we'll put in sort of uh, let's put in three there right and we'll put in say we're looking for games that are move this slider across right so we put in uh, minimum price of the home is twos over 2.5 has got to be at least three so you can see all of these prices here are at least two over 3.5 they're all three or over it's all 25 minutes onwards so you can adjust this you can put this further down so it's taken out some of the games before that okay let's just set that back say to 20 and what you can do you can put on say uh, let's take out some of these let's put on say a minimum of five shots on target you enter that and now obviously it's at least five shots on target these games fit this criteria so you want to put on say at least that's new games coming onto the scanner that's that uh, that's that sound at least thousand pounds we're going to lose this game here you can see enter that and there we go if you like your own particular strategy as i say make sure you name it make sure you save it and you have at least one filter on it even if it's a max price of um, or a minimum price of 101 so I think that's about it. I think I've covered uh, exactly what I wanted to do. Um, just kind of looking for opportunities. Sort of PI here is high. You can see. You can see the breakdown. If you hover the mouse over the 51, you can see that they've had four shots in the last 10 minutes. Lorient, you can see that they were 1.9 at kickoff. So they look well on top. So I would probably look to maybe lay Bastia and probably lay the nil one. Nil one's 1.62, so I'd probably look to lay the, the nil one there and maybe Bastia as well. Um, what else can we see? looking up what else can we see that stands out Stuttgart six shots on target it signifies that um, they're likely to be goals I would think in the second half I would possibly think about uh, laying under 1.5 in this one Man City I'm watching I think there'll be uh, possibly another goal in that so it's a potential layer 1-0 there as Chelsea push and all in all it's a brilliant tool it really is it's um, it does so much and it'll help your trades out and um, there's no reason why you shouldn't make money using it as a lot of our uh, subscribers do okay any questions feel free to email us at uh, football scanner at gmail.com and we'll get back to you.